And a big thank you to the sponsors of this podcast, Moonpig. Order your holiday cards and more. Try your first card free with code free at moonpig.com forward slash US forward slash happy. And open phone. Get 20% off with open phone on your first six months when you sign up at openphone.com forward slash earn and Shopify. Sign up for your one month trial period at shopify.com forward slash happy. Found. Try found for free at found.com forward slash earn and constant contact. Get customized marketing campaigns built for you in just a few clicks. Go to constantcontact.com for your free trial. The idea of discipline is self-love. It's one of the highest forms of self-love in my personal opinion. And here's why. Hey everyone, welcome back to the podcast. It's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit in inspiration. And I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a quickie today. (laughs) I just landed from Austin, Texas, and we were doing a big, glossy view day strategy session, and it was amazing, but my brain is oatmeal, literally, and in the best way, I know you guys get it. And I'm just so freaking thrilled about everything that's going to be happening in the new year with Glossy. Um, You can look out for a challenge, you guys, that you're going to want to be a part of. I'm pulling out my health and wellness background again, and we're gearing up for some really fun stuff. So my co-founder, Natalie Ellis of Boss Babe, is going to be a part of this challenge as well. We're going to be doing this together for 2025, guys. New year, new you. (laughs) I promise we'll think of a better name. (laughs) But, But... You're going to want to stay tuned. If you are on subscription, you will get those emails letting you know all about it. And if you're not on subscription, I'm sure we're going to be posting all about it on IG to let you know what's up. So as usual, you guys can get 25% off of your first subscription order if you use code HAPPY and go to getglossy.com. That's G-E-T-G-L-O-C-I.com. So I know that this is the last freaking thing that you guys want to hear about right now because it's the holidays and you're probably like your calendar is so booked and you're busy because trust me, I literally tonight am kind of starting the festivities off. I have people coming in for my birthday and my birthday weekend. Then it just rolls right on through the holidays. It's something, you know, Chris and I both have birthdays that are really close by and it kicks off with... Thanksgiving, then his birthday, then my birthday, then the holiday parties, then, you know, different work things that maybe you want to put on. We had a bunch of travel for work in there, and then we have Christmas, and then you have New Year's. And I'm like, what even happened? So this little ditty of a podcast is just as much for me as it is for you. In fact, what I meant by that is it's for me. And maybe if it's, you know, if you (laughs) you dig it, great. I hope that you can get some stuff out of it. But it's like I need to hear myself and remind myself of this. And that is that the idea of discipline is self-love. It's one of the highest forms of self-love in my personal opinion. And here's why. So discipline is one of the first things that I believe builds self-confidence. Because when you practice discipline, such as sticking to a workout routine or shameless plug, even sticking to glossy every single day, like something simple or managing your time effectively or, you know, getting disciplined enough to say no to your phone, picking a few of these things or just one of these things and winning. Like the goal is to feel like you won over the fact that you didn't want to do something, right? You resisted the urge to be lazy. You resisted the urge to go and do the thing that you know is turning your brain into mush, like to resist the thing that you know is not going to serve you later. And I view every decision that we make as either a deposit into your bank account, right? I view every decision that you make either as a deposit into your bank account or a withdrawal from your future because that's all it is, right? The more and more that you miss a workout, how true is this? that you're not a healthy person and the more that you don't say no to all of those french fries and the high cholesterol, you're actually 
not only robbing energy from your future, but you truly are robbing days of your life, right? You're actually taking days of your life off if you are not a healthy person. So thinking of it in terms of that, that it's just the little things that if you can start to win with one little thing once a month, right? Like saying, oh my God, I mastered that habit for 30 days. I drank my glossy for 30 days. I went to the gym three times a week for 30 days. That felt so freaking good. I'm so proud of myself. That builds confidence. So on top of that, going to number two is just that. It's creating healthy habits. And when you're a person who's got a really healthy foundation of habits, that can start to travel with you anywhere. Like speaking of when I'm traveling, there's a lot of things that can fall by the wayside, but I have a few that really stick foundationally. Like typically I will always walk. I will always eat really healthy during the day, but I'm probably gonna be like, oh God, if I'm tired or I had a lot of meetings, that's where maybe at night, maybe I'm gonna have a cocktail. Maybe I might, you know, have whatever's on the table. But because I'm so disciplined in my healthy habits, I'm still gonna move in the morning and I'm still going to um, eat as healthy as I can during the day. And you know that's gonna be way different than most people who don't have those foundations. And it's like you come home five to seven days later and you're like, what the hell happened to me? Like what kind of train hit me? You feel like an actual, like you're just so puffy, you don't even recognize yourself. So having habits is something that makes you feel like you're someone that you can count on. You're like, this is who I am. Like at this point in my life, I'm just somebody who works out. I'm just somebody who is a walker. Like I identify now as a walker. I'm like, nope, this is who I am. I stick to it. I feel good. It makes me happy. I'm a walker. So being disciplined creates those healthy habits that also, again, not only make you proud, but give you confidence. And number three is discipline fosters resilience. You want to actually restrict yourself frequently through the day, whether it's that you find yourself always wanting to pick up your phone or you don't say no to yourself with bad food, or maybe you're having way too many cups of coffee and it's not good for your blood pressure or your anxiety and you know it. You want to literally be saying no and getting that experience of feeling like you're missing out on something because you want to get used to it. You want to get used to not indulging every second because then you're just pulling from your energy bank account, your physical bank account, your life bank account, your relationship bank account. Like we should experience saying no to ourselves and not feeling great about it frequently because the more frequently that you do it, the better you will become at it. And remembering that when you feel that way, you're like, this is how I love myself. This is how... In the future, I'm going to get the health that I want, right? I'm going to feel good in my freaking Christmas dress this year. And I'm not going to be so mad at myself for not being disciplined. Like the things that we say to ourselves and the way that we abuse ourselves by not being disciplined is far worse than that little twinge of, you know, one minute of feeling like you're missing out or 20 minutes of feeling like you're missing out. I promise you, if you can start to get used to that, you're going to start to have the life that you want. And it's going to start with self-discipline. You know, back in the day, there was like, there's there's so many differing thoughts on discipline. People are just like, oh, you should live your life and you should feel good and you shouldn't, you know, neglect yourself. My God, neglect yourself <laughs> because you have been probably living in a way where you're indulging in a major way somewhere because I know that I am. There are a few things that I want to really pull back on this year and that is scrolling on my phone. I'm actually annoyed with myself right now because it's like I'll be going down tasks and all of a sudden I'm on my phone. I'm like, how did I even get here? Like, how is my phone in my hand right now? Like, I unconsciously picked it up while trying to finish a task on my computer or at my house. And I'm like, what am I, how did my brain get to this point? Well, it got to this point because I wasn't being intentional 
I wasn't being thoughtful and I wasn't thinking about the things I wanted for the day and I didn't want for the day. So now I'm getting more and more clear that I want to have a lot of discipline around my food or around my phone. I want to have a lot more discipline around my food because I am getting some low energy spots because I'm not eating super great all of the time in the evenings. I've been very, very social. And while that is fun, and I think that that is important, I also don't like how I'm feeling because I get really affected by food. Like my mood gets really affected. And I can tell that if I just cleaned it up a little bit with a little more self-discipline, I would experience so much more joy in my daily life. So you guys, I hope that this helped you. I hope it was a little kick in the pants. I hope that you still have a little fun. Not a little fun. I'm all about the fun. Guys, I am like, I'm like triple Sagittarius, okay? So I have to reel myself in from the fun, which is why I'm doing a self-discipline podcast. So there you go. Happy holidays. I'm going to say it five more times before we even hit the holidays. (laughs) But it's my favorite time of year. I hope you guys go and look at some Christmas lights this weekend and that you have the best time with your loved ones. Make memories, but also make sure that you move your body, you eat healthy food so that you can actually be present for them and not not like how you feel or not like yourself. All right, you guys, until next time, earn your happy. Bye, everyone.